G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I'm going to be ranking the last 15 number one draft picks. I went on to tearmaker.com to make this video. If you're the person who made the uh, the last 15 number one draft picks um, tier making list, um, you're an absolute legend. Also, if you guys want me to rank anything else, um, AFL related, non-AFL related, um, whip it up on tearmaker.com. Swing them to me in my DMs and I will uh, make my list for you. So. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now, this is gonna be harder than I think. Um, gonna try not to be biased, because the D's have had a few of these. I don't know whether to go on, what, just on the best? Just who's the best? Um, all right, here we go. I am going, <laughs> I'd say the Lockie Whitfield's an A. Um, good user off the half back line. Um, still young in his career, could probably push to the S column, but I would definitely say that, um, yeah, serviceable. I'd say Mark Murphy's definitely an A. Uh, I'll probably reshuffle this list as well. Yeah, Mark Murphy's definitely up there, captain. A um, couple of All-Australians, I assume. BNF, I assume. Um, Johnny Patton, he hasn't got out of first gear, has he? Uh, with all these injuries, could be a gun, could be uh, GWS's most lethal forward, but he just hasn't strung a few good, con you know, consistent consecutive years together. So I'd probably put him in the C. I'd put Paddy McCartan in that list as well. Um, yeah, he's he's similar. Like he's got the uh, the potential to do anything with his footy career, but um, just as of yet. He hasn't quite gotten out of the blocks. Manny Cruz, he's starting to put some good seasons together, but he was, um, I just remember for a long while, he took a, took a while to get out of the uh, out of the blocks with his career. Now potentially one of the best rucks in the game. Um, so I'll put Cruz, I'm gonna put Cruz in the C. Could potentially reshuffle this list at the end as well. And like, where do I put Sam Walsh? Like, Sam Walsh is definitely a gun, but say, ah, oh, you know what, stuff it. I'm gonna put him in the A. I'm gonna put Sam Walsh in the A. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, I was just gonna say, like, he could potentially have a career-ending injury. He could potentially be ordinary um, after this year. Say, so just, you know, go through a flat patch. Flat patch of form, but I think, that's not gonna happen, so I'll put him in the A. Um, lids. Lids, 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 lids. BNF, I assume, at Richmond, potentially. All Australian, was he? Um, Brett Lady will go in the B. Gibber took a while to become good, but his best is as good as anyone else's, but I'd still probably say Gibbs is a I'll leave him there for now. <laughs> oh, Jackie Watts. I feel bad for Wattsy. I don't know what I'll do with him. I won't touch him just yet. Cam Rainer's a... Oh, Cam Rainer. Cam Rainer's a B. I, I reckon he's going to be an absolute jet, but... Um, yeah, I, I watched him back at TSC Cup back in the day. And it might have been his first TSC Cup game as a bottom major. And he got best on just playing in the forward line, and his leadership was really good. Um, and, I don't know, 18 months later, he went number one, so that's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, he's, sort of, he's been a little bit inconsistent at the Lions. Hasn't, hasn't played his best foot yet, but I still reckon um, what I've seen so far, he's probably a B. All right, Weedering. Oh, so early in their career, man, I don't know. I reckon he was going to be an absolute general and a half, but from what I've seen so far, probably a C. Don't shoot me, Blues fans. I don't hate you. Yeah, Blues fans have been saying that I hate them recently. I don't. Bloody hell, look how many Blues players are in this. Is that five? Jesus. All right, Tom Scully is a D because he's a dog. D is for dog, Tom. Um, nah, but seriously, he's probably at least a B. Um, his best footy is as good as it gets. His running, his gut running in a game of footy is um, potentially unrivaled. 
I have to say. All right, Davy Swallow. B, geez, I, I haven't got anyone in the S's. Is that bad? Yeah, Dave Swallow, just a bit bang average, isn't he? Like, he's not, it's tough. He's not an elite midfielder of the competition. He's not a top 10 AFL player. He's a very good player for the Gold Coast Suns, but he's not um, anything crazy special. But I suppose he hasn't played in a good team. Uh, potentially, if David Swallow played for Collingwood or Geelong, he might be a better footballer. But he hasn't, so I can only chuck him where I can chuck him. What's he? Now, hear me out. I'll put what's he in the D at the start, but hear me out. Has Jack Watts had a worse career than Matthew Cruiser, Paddy McCartan, Weedering and Patton? Potentially yes, because he has had 10 years to perform. Cruiser's had 10 years to perform. What, what has he done, really? Um, I think it's the easy answer to put Wattsy at the D, like the D level, because when Wattsy's fit and firing and up and about and kicking goals, he's bloody good. Like I've seen Jack Watts get 36 touches in defense as a loose man. I've seen him get 30 touches in the midfield and I've seen him kick four or five in a game. I've seen him kick like kick the game winner off his own boot. So he's, he's actually not terrible. Like he's not awful. He's very reliable kick. Um, yeah, it's so tough. He gets, he gets criticized too harshly, what's he? I don't know whether to be brave and take him out of the D though. <laughs> I don't want you guys coming from my head. But I'm gonna say Jack Watts has had a better career than Paddy McCartan. Oh, that's stiff. No, you can't. Am I gonna leave it there? Oh, it's harsh. Um, look, I'll put them both down there. I'll put them both down there. I'll leave that there. That's controversial. <laughs> but Watts, he's not awful. Um, Tommy Boyd, probably a C. Uh, I feel bad for Tommy Boyd because he, you know, could have been anything. Um, really shattered that he retired at what 21, 21, won a flag off his own boot. That whole final series, he was instrumental. But the body of work wasn't enough for me. But yeah, I can't really take him out of the seas, can I? Andy McGrath. Um, I would say he's a B. I'd say he's a B. That means no one's in the S. Is that too harsh? I, I believe Whitfield's probably the best out of all of them. But am I just going on current form? I don't really, yeah. Well, Whitfield would be the best, I reckon. I'm gonna choose Whitfield. I'm gonna get off the fence and choose Lockie Whitfield as the best. Is Bryce Gibbs too low? Hmm. Yeah, don't know about that one. Happy with all all the rest. Uh, Cam Rayner, Tom Scully. Happy with the happy with the Bs. Maybe Lids. Maybe at his peak goes up to an A, but Cs are just blokes who never really got a good run at it. Like Pato, injury. Weedering too early in his career, he's you know, potentially going to be an All-Australian defender, but at this point in time, uh, what I've seen so far, once again, my opinion is irrelevant. I, <laughs> I know nothing, but what I've seen so far is probably a C. Tommy Boyd to C just for a lack of, you know, not a big enough body of work. Was in and out of the side for the doggies. Um, obviously through mental health stuff, but I didn't get to see him play a good couple of seasons at the top. So probably a C for Tommy Boyd. Could have been anything though. And oh, I, I don't know. I don't know whether I'm biased and I've watched Watsy way too closely, but he's potentially better than Cruiser and Weedering. Um, I, I have to put Paddy McCartney in the D considering like Considering the Saints missed out on Petrarca, Brayshaw and Dugowie in that draft as well, um, that's probably why he's a D. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think McCartan's probably a D as well. I, I don't know if I just have watched Wattsy way too close in his career, but is he worse than Cruiser? Is Jack Watts worse than Cruiser? Comment down below, probably is. 
But I'm going to leave him there just for the... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to leave Watsy there. All right, guys, that was another Tear Maker video. Um, if you disagreed or agreed, comment down below. I want to know what you guys thought. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate all the support and all the videos. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Cheers.